Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So I just wanted to make a little, not like disclaimer, but I just wanted to preface this video by saying this was filmed last summer, which is really, I don't know why I never got around to posting it, but my energy is like super low in this video because I was pretty sick when I filmed it. Um, I had like a throat thing all summer, literally, like my voice was just gone all summer and I was, had just finished all of my shows. Uh, for dance, so I was just like dead. So I'm sorry, I'm not normally this like low energy, but I don't know. The content is there, like the things that I say in the video are still true a year later. So enjoy the video. So today's video, I'm gonna be talking about five mistakes that all freshmen should avoid their freshman year of college, obviously. Um, these are things that I made the mistake of that I just thought I would share to maybe, you know, save you a little bit. I don't know. But anyway, we're just going to get right into it. So the first mistake that I would say is when signing up for your classes. Um, you always hear to not sign up for really early classes. So I went in the complete opposite direction and signed up for really late classes in the afternoon. My classes didn't start until 2 p.m. So I had class every day from two to five o'clock, which in theory sounds so nice because you get to sleep in and you know, just kind of like mess around all day because you don't have class till two o'clock. Wrong. Um, I had to do everything before class because usually after class I would have like something for my sorority or I'd have a meeting for something else or whatever I would have something always at night so I would have to do all my homework right when I woke up I'd have to like work out in the mornings which I don't enjoy doing I'd have to like just plan my entire day before actually going to class versus second semester I had class from 9 to 11 in the morning every day and I was done. So after 11, I could relax a little bit, work out in the afternoon when no one was at the gym. I could go to the library. Like, listen, all I'm saying is you waste a lot less time when your classes are earlier. Now don't do an 8 a.m. but I feel like everyone knows that, just don't, like, they just don't work. Um, but I think 9 a.m.s work well and all that stuff, but I just found with my 2 p.m. class schedule, I wasted so much time sleeping because I would sleep until, like, you know, 10 o'clock, whatever, and then I, like, would only have a few hours to literally get done everything. So that's my suggestion. The next tip I have is when it comes to good old freshman 15 or where I go, which is Mizzou, we like to call it Mizzou 22, where you gain 22, 22, where you gain 22 pounds your freshman year. So my tip is when you go to the dining halls, all the food that is there will be there again, if that makes sense. So my mistake was when I would see that for dessert, we had brownies and apple pie and cookies, all three of my favorites, instead of being like, huh, maybe I'll just have a bite of a brownie today and, you know, get the rest later. No, I would get a brownie, a cookie, and an apple pie because I was like, I've never been exposed to like all this sugar before. And that's when I started, you know, feeling disgusting a little bit and starting to feel the effects. So my suggestion is just to like to pace yourself, okay? If you see some really good desserts, have a little bit here, have a little bit there because they will return, they will all come back and they will be there the next day. So that's something to help you avoid gaining a lot of weight freshman year. Um, just, just brace yourself, eat what makes you feel good and then treat yourself on the side a little bit. I just wanted to add on really quick here um, from Jamie a year later, Jamie in the future, on this little thing. Um, I still kind of stand by what I say of just like pacing yourself, but I also want to say that it is completely normal to gain weight your freshman year, and you should not feel pressured to eat a certain way or look a certain way freshman year. 
or maintain your high school weight. It's completely normal to fluctuate in body weight. And so eat until your heart is content, eat until you're satisfied. Don't ever starve yourself, don't ever deprive yourself of food groups. Um, I wish I would have known that freshman year that it's okay to indulge a little bit in food and enjoy yourself when it comes to food because it resulted in a lot of problems um, in time to come from kind of going on that mindset of I need, I can only eat a little bit here and there. It's bad to eat a bunch of whatever um, that just create a lot of problems in my life. So I would just say, just eat what you want when you want. Don't ever deprive yourself of food groups. Don't be on a diet freshman year of college or really ever, but that's a whole nother topic. Um, that's just how you can avoid having a really bad relationship with your body and with food. I'm going to make a whole other video on this, but I just wanted to pop in here basically saying, don't really listen to that tip. Okay, bye. Okay, so the next tip I have is to not go home as much as you think you like need to, want to, whatever. I guess this really only applies if you are able to go home often. I just feel like when you go home a lot freshman year, you don't really get accustomed to being away as much as you should because college is really supposed to teach you how to live on your own, be your own person, do your own things. And when you go home every weekend to do your laundry, to have your mom do your laundry and cook for you, that's not really learning to be on your own. Um, I did this to an extent. I didn't do it to have my mom do my laundry. I do my own laundry, thank you. But I did have to come home a lot for commitments and dance. I still, you know, have a lot of stuff with dance in my hometown. Um, so that was like a weird situation, but it was definitely just hard, like leaving every weekend when a lot of things happen on the weekends. Like I missed a lot of stuff with my sorority and I don't know, it was just this year. Definitely. I'm going to try to be at school a little bit more just because something that also goes with your tuition is like experience and being able to live on your own and I felt like by me coming home every weekend I was like taking a step out from being able to be sufficient on my own. So the next little tidbit of information that I can give you is if it's possible bring your car. Don't leave your car at home if it's possible because let me tell you my car my car saved my life, okay? Especially the first few weeks of college where it just felt like you were at this weird summer camp. You kind of felt like you were trapped in a bubble. Like, my car and I, we would just get together and drive to Target. It was so nice. It was like my little me time kind of thing. Um, I just have had literally, like all my friends who don't have a car, wish they had a car on campus. It's just so nice. You get to just do your own little thing, like, especially like, you know, winter blues when I just, you just start feeling a little bit trapped on campus sometimes, I'm not going to lie. And so having a car allows you to kind of escape that, okay? So bring your car if you can. So the next mistake to avoid is bringing too much stuff. I talked about this a little bit in my last video, which is what not to pack for college. So if you want to go check that out, go ahead and I hope it helps you a little bit know what to pack. But oh my gosh, this is, I cannot stress this enough. I made this mistake so much, but like uh, people that I knew brought their entire house. They had so much stuff and there is just not enough room in dorms for the amount of stuff people bring. So it just makes your room looks so cluttered, so messy, like you can never clean it enough. Oh my gosh. It's just like, just don't bring a lot of stuff, okay? I'm currently packing right now and I'm still having that struggle, but I'm literally bringing like 10 t-shirts, which is amazing for me. Probably less than that, probably like eight. Like that's amazing for me, okay? So just like don't bring a lot of stuff. The last mistake that you should avoid your freshman year is getting too caught up in the social aspect of college. So this one, take it whatever way, whether that means 
partying or just hanging out with your friends 24 7 all these things can be fine with why can i not think of any words with um like portion control i don't know what i'm saying but literally like you're there for school you are paying so much money to get your degree and get a good job you're not gonna get a good job or your degree if you have really bad grades and no job is gonna look at your grades and see you have a c plus average and be like yes come aboard and like let's pay you 100k a year for getting c pluses like so just really focus on school that's why you're there school comes first everything else comes after that well mental health comes first okay then school but then everything else all right so just focus on that and really hone in on that all right i can't stress that enough don't get too caught up in anything else all right all right you guys so that concludes this video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up stay what <laughs> subscribe because i have a lot of college videos coming i move into my sorority house a week from today which is crazy in seven days i'll be back at the zoo in my sorority where's the summer gone i don't know but subscribe all right